What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. And yo, this is just insane. Breaking news. Uh, Tony Khan has released a statement saying uh, he let go of CM Punk. CM Punk has been terminated, fired from AEW All Elite Wrestling. Mind you guys. I was just at a baby shower for my homie Gray. Shout out to my homie Gray. I was not having his second child. So I was just at the baby shower talking to the couple of my friends that I was there or whatnot. I checked my Instagram. One of the homies sent me a DM saying, yo, CM Punk just got fired. Didn't want to believe it. So I go to Twitter, check out the AEW official Twitter page. And there's the statement right there. And I couldn't believe it. So I hadn't really read it, but I, I, I saw enough and I was like, yo, I reposted it on my Twitter and this is just insane. All right, we're going to check it out together. This is just insanity, bro. I, I can't believe it. This is on the official Twitter page of AEW's uh, Twitter page, a statement from All Elite Wrestling and Tony Khan. Um... All Elite Wrestling AEW has terminated the wrestler and employment agreements between Philip uh, Philip Brooks, aka CM Punk, and AEW with cause uh, with cause effective immediately. The termination was confirmed today by Tony Khan, CEO, General Manager, and Head of Creative of AEW. The termination follows a week long internal investigation of an incident occurred backstage at AEW. All In, a.k.a. Brawl In with Jack Perry, uh, in London on Sunday, August 27th. Following the investigation, the AEW Discipline Committee met and later convinced with outside legal counsel before, uh, 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 convened with outside legal counsel before making a, a, a unanimous recommendation to Khan that CM Punk be terminated with cause. Khan offered the following statement. Phil played an important role within AEW, and I thank him for his contributions. The termination of the AEW contracts with cause is ultimately my decision and mine alone. Of course, I wish I didn't have to share this news, which may come as a disappointment to many of our fans. Nevertheless, I am making the decision in the best interest of the many amazing people who make AEW possible every week. Our talent, staff, venue operators, and many others who efforts are unsung by essential uh but unsung but essential to bring our fans great shows on television and at arenas and stadiums throughout the world and that's it bro cm punk is no longer in aew that is wild i will say this i don't think anyone thought tony khan had the balls to actually do it but he did it he actually fired arguably their biggest star in the company. It's, it was CM Punk and MJF, really their biggest stars in the company. Now MJF is really the biggest star in the company off top, but CM Punk was their biggest star. Whether the reactions he got was positive or negative, he was their biggest star. They literally revolved the show around him in collision. The reports were saying that the network wanted him on the show. They literally created a show revolved around CM Punk. And Tony Khan let him go. For once, we can say Tony Khan actually had balls. He actually acted like a boss. And got rid of the person he felt like was causing or surrounding themselves or involved in a lot of the issues. Now. Do I feel like it's justified in him being fired? Honestly, from the reports that have been reported recently of the all in situation where apparently he came after he after they broke up Jack Perry and CM Punk, he came after Tony Khan. He basically had because he I, at one point he didn't even he said he wasn't going to do the match he, uh, with Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, the reports are saying that Samoa Joe had to come out, you know, convince Punk to do the match. But apparently he was yelling at Tony Khan, telling him that he quits, that he's done. And he was kind of getting in Tony Khan's face. So if those reports are true, I mean, 
you have no other choice. If that is true, once again, I don't know. Wasn't there. I'm just going off of reports. But if the reports are saying that he wanted to quit and he was yelling at you and getting in your, in your face, you kind of have to. I mean, if somebody's coming at you and they're the employee and they're coming at you in a disrespectful way, you kind of have to stand your ground and say, all right, you got to go. Or if you want to quit, all right, we'll make it happen for you. And let's let's go back to how this whole situation started last year when he was at the media scrum. And instead of Tony Khan stepping in like a boss and deviating the question, he let CM Punk go on that infamous rant that caused all of this. I mean, granted, it didn't cause all of this. Obviously, there were some backstage issues they were having, but he brought it to the forefront in that media scrum and just buried everyone he had an issue with Why Tony Khan was sitting right there and did nothing. Tony Khan should have then stepped up as the boss and said, no, we're not doing this, but he didn't. And ultimately, that's how we had the brawl last year. And it's just one of those things where it's like, if the reports are true of what CM Punk did and addressing Tony Khan and coming at him the way he did potentially, then I think it's justified in letting him go. And honestly, you have to look at it from a business standpoint. I like CM Punk. I don't think he's at fault for a lot of this. I think there's a lot of stuff Tony Khan needs to address, and I hopefully this is a wake-up call for everyone in the back. But he has been the common denominator in every single issue. Every issue that AEW has had backstage that we've heard about majorly, he's been involved in it. This is their biggest show. Literally their biggest show they put on in the company. And he, he there was another issue. Another issue that I, I do feel like CM Punk could have possibly avoided. Which brings up the point of, did was CM Punk personally trying to get himself fired? Because it seemed like he didn't care. He didn't. It, it seemed like he wanted to get himself fired. When someone is out there the day of the show potentially going off a of rumor saying they, they're going to quit. They're not even going to no-show the first match. They're scrambling to see if they can get other people to go on the first match because CM Punk doesn't even want to go out there now because of the incident with Jack Perry. Either you know you have that much power or you're trying to get yourself fired. I don't know. He's he's taking shots at Adam Page, who hasn't said anything to him. He's taking shots at him, obviously off camera, that promo segment he had off camera on Collision. Took shots at him. He's taking shots at it. Uh, well, not necessarily Elite. When his first promo back, he kind of worded it in a way because he can't. I don't think he can legally take talk about them or anything like that on air or something like that. So, but he, he's kind of sent his little jabs at them subliminally so and we haven't really heard nothing from the elite you know what i'm saying not publicly not on television or anything like that so i don't know what's going on and what's being said in the back you know we're not there but it does seem like cm punk didn't really give too much didn't care you can't care if you're willingly going at your boss you know what i'm saying I, I think if the situation where CM Punk addressed, addressed Jack Perry saying you shouldn't do that spot, Jack Perry still does the spot, and he says something subliminal to CM Punk or whatnot on camera, you know what I'm saying? Tell Tony Khan, hey, handle this. Take care of this. To avoid any extra confusion or problems, you know? But that didn't happen. And once again, this still goes back to Tony Khan. I get it. He's finally made a statement. And hopefully the locker room understands that. But he needs to, if he's going to have this stance, you let go your biggest talent in the company. You fired him. This needs to be a message to everybody, including Jack Perry and anybody else. If you do something we tell you not to do and you still go out there and do it, we will get rid of you. And that's how, that's how he needs to be. Legit. Because Jack Perry definitely went out there and did something he wasn't supposed to do. And there needs to, you know, obviously, I believe he's suspended as well. But there needs to be some type of repercussions for whatever you do in the back that you're not supposed to do. There needs to be some repercussions. So 
I will give credit to Tony Khan for this one instance, even though it took him too long to finally grow a set. I will give him this. He felt like he he there was only so much he could take. And he let him go. He let him go. His biggest star, he let him go. So it really comes down to how he moves forward because this doesn't solve everything. Just because you let go of Punk, he may have been a, the center of, of a lot of the issues they've been having. It don't solve everything. He still needs to make sure he understands, well, the, that everyone else understands he is the boss. He pays the bills. He pays the checks. I mean, he writes the checks. So people need to listen to him. So I don't know. But this is wild. Like I said, I like CM Punk, but I have to call a spade a spade. He was uh he was the common denominator in a lot of these issues. And I do think a lot of the things come down to him not handling it as well as he should too. I'm not saying what the elite did was correct. I'm not saying what Jack Perry did was correct. They were at fault as well. But CM Punk also has to take some blame too. Because once again, if he never goes on that tangent last year at that media scrum, we may not even know none of this happened. If they just handle it backstage, and, and if they handle it backstage, we may not even know none of this happened. I've always said CM Punk was wrong for addressing it then. That's where he messed up. And we thought things would get better, but ultimately... It, it led to the same destination. This is insane. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel that what uh, Tony Khan did was justified? Do you guys feel like it was about time? Do, y got, do you guys feel like maybe Tony Khan should have gave him another chance? Um, let me know how y'all feel about that. Also, the bigger question, and I see people already bringing up the conversation. Do you think CM Punk will go back to wwe me personally i don't think i think wwe would be open to it because it's all about the bottom dollar i don't think cm punk would do it only because i just i think i think for him i think this may be the last time we see him do anything wrestling related related i think it may be done for him wrestling wise i, I just don't see him personally going to wwe not to say it can't happen but I just don't see it anytime soon. And but I do think WWE would definitely would love to have CM Punk back. They they were trying to get him back before he went to AEW. So I know now for a fact they would. But let me know. Do y'all think he would he'll end up in WWE um again going forward? I, me personally, I think he's gonna kind of just chill from wrestling. But uh let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this. It's crazy. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150k. And I'm still young speed the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you on the next one. Peace.